Imagine doing the work once and feeding yourself for the next 20 years. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to grow asparagus the lazy way. I'm Tony O'Neill and this is UK Year We Grow and on this channel we deal with all things gardening, poultry keeping and beekeeping. If you're looking to build that perfect garden to relax in or you just want to grow your own nutrient dense foods then start now by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified each time we put out new content just like this. Asparagus is one of those vegetables that's really expensive in the stores and just buying a few spears can really hit your wallet. But did you know that for just one hour's work, you can feed yourself for the next 20 years? Be sure to stay to the end of this video because I'm going to show you how to grow asparagus the lazy way. I'm going to show you how. I'm going to give you all the hints and tricks in order for you to get fantastic asparagus crops each year. It will save you money and time. But before we go into all of that, the first thing we need to do is to purchase our asparagus crowns. Now, it's said that for a family of four that really enjoy asparagus, you'd need around about 50 plants. Now, I'm not gonna grow 50 plants here today. I'm gonna grow 30, and I can always expand if I need to. Next, we need to think about where we would like our asparagus bed to be. Now, consider this carefully, because asparagus are a perennial plant, and they're going to crop for the next 20 years. So, you don't wanna make a mistake in this. Ideally, you want a nice, bright, sunny, but sheltered area. I'm tucking mine in right behind the greenhouses here because it's sheltered on three sides. Your soil should be considered too. It needs to be free draining. We want to protect those asparagus crumbs from rotting off. Now if you have clay soil you may want to consider digging in some sharp sand or horticultural sand which will help in drainage. And also you may want to look at the fertility and add some manure. So how do we plant asparagus? Well it's not like planting most things. The first thing we need to do to plant asparagus is we need to dig a nice trench. It needs to be around 12 to 18 inches deep and at least two spade widths apart. By digging this nice big trench, it allows us to uh, set the asparagus roots properly. Now I have help today and this is Liz Zorab from By The Farm and Liz has come over to help me to plant the asparagus, give me a hand for helping her in previous episodes. And uh, if you haven't already, get across to Liz's channel and take a look because she has a fantastic channel and I'll leave a link in the description below. Anyway, once we have our trench and it's nice and flat, the next thing we need to do is create a ridge right down the center of that trench. Now you can use soil, or as I'm doing here, I'm using cow manure to create this trench. Now, I ensured that when I planted my asparagus crumbs, they were at least three inches below the soil surface. But if you find that yours are just under the surface or even sticking through, then you can ridge up your asparagus crowns like you would potatoes. The next thing we need to do is give this area a really good watering because that will settle that soil around the asparagus roots. Unlike Jerusalem artichokes or sunchokes, the asparagus plants don't spread. So there's no need to put containing sides in along the bed. They will quite happily sit here, providing you with crops year after year. It's very little maintenance for what you get. And this is why I say it's the lazy way to grow asparagus. Looking after your asparagus is relatively straightforward. Just give them a watering of around two inches every two weeks if there hasn't been adequate rainfall. And then after the first two years, you can then drop that back to once a fortnight. They really are that easy to look after. Weeding asparagus plants is very straightforward, but because asparagus roots are shallow, you want to hand weed the area. Simply just pull the weeds out when they're small. Don't be tempted to use a hoe, even though that's a gardener's best friend, because you very likely damage those plants. Instead, just pull out the weeds as they're nice and small. Now, it's relatively easy to pull them out when they're small like this, but then you, you only have to do this until June, because after June, the asparagus will put up its frongs and will shade out most weeds from that point. When to harvest? Well, in the first year, you shouldn't harvest your asparagus at all. You need to give these plants time to really establish themselves. 
in the second year you may take up to 50% of the spears from each plant but don't overdo this and then in the third year you can have a full harvest right the way up until June and at June you want to stop harvesting and allow the remaining spears to turn into frongs so that they can then feed that plant for the following year. Feeding your asparagus is relatively straightforward as well. You want to wait until you've finished harvesting in June and then get between one and one and a half pound per 100 square feet and place this around the plants and water it in well. This will give the plants everything it needs for the following year. Well, there you have it. Now you know how to grow asparagus the lazy way. And this is going to feed you for the next 20 years with perfect nutrient dense asparagus spears. If you found value in this video, please share it with your friends and groups you belong to. Question of the day, have you grown or thought of growing asparagus before? If you have, let me know in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed this video or learned something, then please consider giving a thumbs up and clicking the subscribe button over here. And once you've done that, you can continue the journey by clicking the next video here. I'm Tony O'Neill, this is UK Year We Grow, and remember folks, you reap what you sow. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.